Only on two, it is a view of a light pole you don't see. A drone capturing images from above. You can see it shaking back and forth. Researchers are using this perspective to keep drivers safe from falling poles. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonyo got a first look inside that UIC lab. Suzanne, this is a big problem you have been covering for months. Jim, fallen light poles. Now we have covered hundreds of them in the city over the years. But right now, today, we can show you something that can help. Now I'm standing right in front of this light pole here. It's about 20 feet high. And if a CDOT worker had to come out and inspect it, they'd need heavy equipment to check it from top to bottom. Well, new research being done at UIC shows us a drone could be used to do that work instead. You're looking at drone video of a vibration study taking place on an aluminum light pole inside the UIC High Bay Structures Lab. There is something hit the light pole. It causes a local buckling here. We see drone views from high above and on the side of this pole. Vibration studies are used to see how a pole moves to detect the amount of damage it has. This pole moves in a circular pattern because of the buckling at the base. It doesn't say it's going to fall, but it says there's some damage on the structure which may require some precautions to be taken. Didam Ozavin is a professor of civil engineering at UIC. Ozavin and a team of her students have been studying city light poles with the help of CDOT. Drones are used in the lab to survey damage. Ozavin says her hope is to use the drone technology as a cost-effective way to inspect numerous light poles all at once. The drone can capture the data from hundreds of light poles in one inspection and that also provides some digital data that uh, you can store the information and compare with the next inspection. These are great examples of fundamental type of research that we do um, and they they can impact the day-to-day -day lives of, of the citizens of our of our city. Ozavin says they've discovered light poles fail primarily because of wind, like this light pole that CBS2 reported on near Roosevelt and Clark, and another one that fell on top of this SUV at Halstead and Armitage, both this past April. Research also shows rust developing on steel light poles can make them even weaker because the load-bearing capacity of a light pole is reduced by rust. Over the years, it accumulates and it causes complete section loss, as we've seen here. So what about CDOT using drones to inspect multiple light poles during an inspection? Well, all a CDOT spokesperson would tell me is they don't currently use drones. At Monroe Harbor, Suzanne Lemonyo, CBS 2 News.